Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Warning, the snake diet is dangerous. Is something you're gonna see time and time again when you search up the snake diet on Google. And if you don't know what snake diet is, it's massively promoted by Cole Robinson. You can check out his YouTube channel, put a link for it down below. But from me looking into him and the results he's got people for weight loss, he's definitely by far one of the best weight loss experts out there that is not just trying to sell you loads of garbage to actually lose weight, it doesn't actually really work. And he actually gets people real results with things that cost nothing, which is things such as intermittent fasting, extended fasting with things such as soft dry fast, hard dry fast, water fasting, and he massively promotes the snake juice as well. And yeah, I just wanted to talk a bit about this. So when you go on Google, look at that top result there. It's from healthline.com, which I wouldn't trust them whatsoever. It's like a medical website and we don't want to trust allopathic doctors and the Western medicine system. It says long-term fasting can lead to electrolyte imbalances and nutritional deficiencies. Yes, it can for sure. But as I've mentioned in videos before, it's good to have some sort of electrolyte drink on long fast when it's a specific type of water fast, like Carl Robinson promotes the snake juice. And that is a natural electrolyte beverage to make sure that you don't get an electrolyte imbalance and nutritional deficiencies whilst doing longer fast. It says a snake diet poses extreme health risks. <gasps> As it fails to meet your nutritional needs, may promote disordered eating, and it's predicated on starvation. And it's like, oh my God, these people, they're just trying to put some scare tactics out there because he's sharing something that actually works for people and it makes the medical industry lose loads because people that follow his advice don't need the pharmaceuticals anymore or any help from doctors, they don't need any surgeries and so forth. So they stand to lose a lot of money due to people like him and myself as well that promote similar types of things. It's not starvation, there's so much scientific research show out there that fasting is a very good thing to maximize longevity, hormone production, digestion, mental health, and just give you a whole host of other amazing benefits as well. And you can do your research into all those types of studies online. There's just endless amounts. And then if you go down, there's also other websites saying the danger of the snake diet on Chris Wong Fitness. And the list just goes on. The Daily Mail, which I've been in the Daily Mail before, and they've been just hating on me and creating loads of lies because that's what the newspapers do. And it says, what is a snake diet and is it dangerous? And then there's a snake diet and it's just as dangerous for your health as a snake. Which is a ridiculous thing to say because poisonous snakes, if they bite you, they could end up ending your life very, very quickly. They're not health promoting whatsoever. But as we know, the medical industry and the health industry and a lot of people in the diet and weight loss industry as well, like to make the most effective things that cost hardly any money or no money whatsoever, where there's no profit to make off of it, they tend to demonize it and try and make people as scared of them as possible. And most of these types of articles, for normal people going on Google, Google is very specific. They let specific websites go to the top. And when you search for anything to do with like health or even stuff like what I'm searching now, the top ones are gonna come up with sites that you really cannot trust of what so ever from what I've looked into time and time again. Most of them are gonna be medical website after medical website and so on and so on and so on. So it can be very hard to find some trustworthy websites that are actually spreading the truth. So do I believe that the snake diet is dangerous? No, not whatsoever. Could it be dangerous? Yes. Anything could be dangerous. You drink too much water, it will be dangerous. You smoke too many cigarettes, which I don't promote in cigarettes at all, but if you smoke so many one after the other in a row, it could be very detrimental to you. Or even just going absolutely crazy with junk food and just eating it every minute of the day. Yes, that could end your life as well. There's so many things that could have a devastating negative effect on you. And I remember when they actually had Cole on the Doctors Show, which is on YouTube and on American TV, if I remember correctly, they just tried to make him look as bad as possible because that's what they do on there. And it's just really, really shitty that this even happens because so many people will trust sources that are being dishonest and don't actually want you to start feeling the best within yourself and have the most optimal physique and health possible, which just turns a lot of people away. 
but it's like, oh, well, that's just the reality that we live in. And yeah, all we can do with this type of thing is with people like myself and coach, just like keep spreading our message and the right people at the right time that are ready to hear what we have to share with them will be drawn to us at the right time and put these things into place and get some real results. And when I think about it, Cole's been promoting this diet for years and years and years. You should go on his Snake Diet Motivational Group. They only post weight loss testimonials in there and he's got so many people that have had amazing weight loss results. He's never had anyone end up dying what? So ever, and what they say on the doctor's show is, you're probably gonna end up killing people in the future, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And if someone did die from it, they would just say, yeah, look, see, it is really, really dangerous. Yet the medical industry kills hundreds of thousands of people every single year. Yet everyone still keeps going to the doctors and the hospitals, and they're not shutting them down and hating on them, at least people in the mainstream media and a lot of people in our society, but yeah. How many times have the government and the medical industry done things to shut down people that are getting people real, real good results? This stands to make them to lose a lot of money. Well, so many times it's like absolutely ridiculous. You can do loads of research into this online. You would just not believe how many people have had some crazy things happen to them where they've been helping so many people with their health and their weight and so forth. And then these certain people come along that don't like it whatsoever and shut them down, which is just like, oh man. It's absolutely crazy it's allowed to even happen, but that's just the reality that we currently live in. And yes, the snake diet is a very intense fasting protocol and way of eating. And if someone's maybe not learning to do it in the most safe and effective way possible, and they do some modifications to it or not really listen to their body while they're doing it and they get into dangerous territory, it could have some serious negative effects on them. But that's why you need to be as knowledgeable on this subject as much as possible and experiment with it, see what works best for you and just make sure that you're being as mindful as possible. So if you start to get into any sort of territory where it feels that it could start to harm you, then you discontinue doing it. And that's what I'd recommend with anything in life, because anything can push you in the direction of giving you amazing benefits, but then you can go too far where you go over the edge and it starts to become detrimental. So it's about having what I would call balance. And Cole's most intense protocol is known as death fasting. You can do some research up on that. I might make a video about that in the near future, but this is his most intense protocol for specific type of fasting method and when you should eat and so forth. And yes, it is very, very intense. You have to have a very strong mindset. You have to have a really big reason as to why you're doing it and it will start to give you amazing results. He's currently got a woman living with him, which I think she calls herself fasting fat woman or something like that. I can't remember. I'll put a link down below for her channel and she's 500 pounds. And in one week, if I remember correctly, since he's been coaching her and she's living alongside him, she lost 35 pounds of weight which is absolutely amazing. And people losing weight so rapidly can be a really good thing because you can start to see yourself getting some amazing results which makes you stay on track. But if you're not getting really, really great results, it can deter you from what you're doing and then you can go off track. And I would just recommend that you follow our whole process because she's sharing a lot about her old journey. And it's very intense for it. It'd be very intense for anyone to do this but she's doing it in the most safe and controlled way possible. And I know he wouldn't push her into a dangerous territory, but he's definitely pushing her to her limits. But that is all good. We need to push ourselves out of our comfort zone sometimes. And yeah, it may be really intense, but as long as we're doing something that's giving us real results and we're staying as safe as we possibly can with it, then it is all good. And yeah, I just know from personal experience, I mentioned this earlier on, but I used to own a YouTube channel with almost 100,000 subscribers that got shut down due to a variety of different reasons I'm not gonna go into, but if you wanna learn more, I'll put a link for a video up above where I talked about that on this channel. And I was helping people in healing themselves from serious health issues mentally and physically and promoting a lot of things to detoxication that was quite controversial. And so many times I got put in newspapers around the world where they said I was throwing something dangerous that was really detrimental to people. I was forcing people to do this thing and that thing that wasn't true. And they really tried to paint the most awful picture of me as much as possible. Because to be honest, in news, what sells? is these negative stories that they create about people. And we know we can't trust the newspapers or the news What? So ever. And it's just like, pfft, yeah, oh well. Any publicity is good publicity at the end of the day. And he may get people hating on him and making articles about him and these, these types of websites. And there may be a lot of people that distrust him, but it's just like, oh well, they're obviously not ready to actually keep their mind open 
and actually maybe experiment with it and see if it works rather than judging it and not trying it whatsoever and listening to some fear-based tactics from news companies and so forth it may not always make some sense to you but try and keep your mind open as much as possible try it out if it works for you continue doing it. if it doesn't then don't do it and really look into people that with whatever they're sharing such as Cole with the snake diet see the testimonies they've got and he's got endless amounts so even put a link for his Instagram down below he is like a really, really amazing person. He does create his content in a very strong way with a lot of share, shouting and swearing, but he's just very passionate and he works for a lot of people. Some people it doesn't, but it's all good. And for me, he's a very big motivational and inspirational person for me that is just caring about people so much and he's just helping change so many people's lives in so many positive ways because so many people are so obese, it's an epidemic in the world and it causes like type 2 diabetes and heart disease and heart attacks and early death and so on, and it just has such a negative effect on people's life in more ways than you could ever possibly imagine, unless you're someone that is obese or have been in the past, then you could understand that. We need more people like him and me out there, just being these warriors that don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks about what we do or what they say about us. It's not gonna stop us whatsoever. We can use that as fuel to know that we're doing something really big in the world, because when you get a lot of people hating on you and making articles about it, you, know you're doing something really, really good. <laughs> it's just a confirmation that is something that the medical system doesn't like and that is just the way it is. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or if you'd like me to make any more videos on the snake diet, let me know down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this with others and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button next subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have so many coming on intermittent fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, weight loss, and many other different videos to help you go in direction to gain and maintain the body you desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. I've managed to many other people that have followed my information consistently over time. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.